Thanks for joining us for another Saints Spotlight. Today's guest is David Clank, a junior at Thomas More University and editor of The More You Know, a student-run news blog written by students for students. David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your field of study and how you became interested in that field? So I am a communication major and my path to it has been uh, pretty wonky from my transfer from Cincinnati Christian to coming here and figuring out my field. I started taking a few communication classes with Professor Recton and really enjoyed the things I was learning. I transferred to a communication major and have been working really closely with the entire department and specifically Professor Oldfield. I remember one Saturday in September there was this uh, student newspaper seminar that was held at Xavier pre-COVID okay. and me and uh, some other people, uh, Teresa Urban and Kyle Estell, both went to uh, try and start our own newspaper and we saw all these other schools that had theirs and thought why doesn't Thomas More have, have one of their own. So we uh, started brainstorming of how to get one ourselves and how we would run it. Okay, so that was the inspiration for starting your publication. Can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that you've faced with kicking off um, this blog? Yes. Well, I'd say the biggest challenge, as the biggest challenge for anyone now, is still dealing with COVID-19. We were hyping it up and getting it ready to launch in January of last year. So uh, this time last year, it was about to go live and then everything hits. The biggest issue has kind of been some of the events that have usually happened on campus have either been modified or don't happen the exact same way. The stories have shifted, if not skyrocketed, in the different uh, experiences that students have, uh, either being quarantined or commuting from home to be safer and such. And uh, finding these new stories and new experiences that didn't exist uh, a year ago is something that has been uh, a challenge but a welcome one. How do you determine the content and do you have a dedicated staff that works on on stories for you? Our claim is a student-ran newspaper for students by students. I have two other people who work along the newspaper with me, Sarah Wilson and Brock Curran. We work really tough on finding out what the stories that students want to actually see. There is you know some of the normal stories that you would see in like things like the moreover which are uh, great in itself, but some of the smaller things like uh, the Brent Sench Bridge had an explosion for commuters. How do you get across the bridge with it being out? Or here is the quarantine experience of this student. Our goal is to share different perspectives of students that wouldn't be able to share it otherwise. What other types of activities are you involved in on campus? I am a part of the cross country and track team. I've ran cross country all throughout high school and same thing with track. I practice on a regular basis with both teams. It's uh, pretty hard to juggle that and the schoolwork and this and I'm also an RA over in Upper Howard. Based on your Thomas More experience so far, what are your aspirations for the future? So my aspirations for the future or more specifically for the newspaper as well is to be able to build up enough content and recurring series that will allow me to hand it off. I hope that the current staff that we have is able to build up a stable enough platform to be able to have it be an actual recurring thing, not just a, a semester or two project. Although we have a few people who are on staff with us, we are for the most part entirely students written and we have people who come in who just or say, hey, I want to share this one story and we'll publish it. So, or one person who has uh, a different field of study that they want to share more light on. It's something that we want to continue outreaching and having a way to keep it going even after the people who found it are far gone. Now that we have had a semester under our belt, we have a video series that we want to start showing of spotlight type of deal where we want to interview different student athletes and different club members of, of uh, student activity clubs. Uh, the premise of that is Fingers crossed, uh, we want to, if it's an art club, we want to be painting arts while we're talking to them and interviewing them. Or if it is a, uh, um, like an archery team, I'll be flinging arrows down the range while asking them questions relating back to what they do. So we have lots of stuff in store for the future that we also are excited for. Do you have any advice for students who are getting ready to start college? The future is always in motion. So be ready for change as we are in a very changing times be prepared but at the same time open yourself up to the future all right 
Well, that's great. Thanks so much for being our Saint Spotlight. Thank you for having me.